What's up, drum heads? And welcome to another episode of What to Practice. I hurt my foot skateboarding yesterday. So we're gonna do something a little less intense, more of a mental game. This has nothing to do with the video, I just wanted to throw that in there. All right, back to the video. If you've ever played with other musicians, then chances are you've done this. One, two, skiddly dilly doo. Not, not quite my tempo. Hmm. Yep. You're about to start the song, you count it off, the song starts, and you are way off tempo. How sick would it be if someone were to call out a tempo and you could snap it out right on time? What does that say? Quarter note equals 215. Count me a 215. A one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Jesus one, two, Christ! Our primary responsibility as drummers is to keep tempo. And I feel like a lot of us kind of disregard that fact. I would say 90% of the time when I gig, I have a click in my ear. And it's been that way for the past seven years. I've become so dependent on hearing that click that whenever I do have to do those random bar gigs where there's no track or click, I feel so lost, like a baby in water without its floaties. The click is my floaties. I need my floaties. For me, I would say my ability to maintain a consistent tempo isn't the best. And it's really kind of embarrassing bringing this forward to you guys, but it's the freaking truth. In the past, I have had guitarists or bassists turn to me and say, don't speed up or don't slow down, but I can't be the only one that this has happened to. Y'all are just too freaking embarrassed to admit it. So I'm gonna try and work on my timing and tempo memory and see if I can come up with some kind of exercises or ways to help me with both of those things. Okay, let's start with tempo memory. With modern drumming, maybe this skill is a bit pedantic. New vocab word. I put a link in the description down below to a really cool article that goes deep, deep into absolute tempo or tempo memory and refers to it as being related to something like perfect pitch or absolute pitch. Now, while I feel like most singers don't have perfect pitch, I feel like as drummers, we should have an understanding of time and be able to recognize what 120 BPM approximately sounds like. So, let me try and snap what I think 120 BPM sounds like. I haven't listened to a click before this or anything, this is my first go. And I'll like, I'll wear a click over this and we'll see how close I am. Um, Jesus. Okay. Nailed it. Was I off? Well, I won't know until I edit this, so we'll see. Okay, so my first thought on this is, whenever I'm at the gig and I'm about to start a song, I always sing the chorus or a melody from the song in my head. And I hum it out in my head to get the tempo before I count off. So maybe we can find a popular song that has a tempo of 120, and we can associate that tempo with that song. So for 120, I always think of Stevie Ray Vaughan, Pride and Joy. We've played that song all the freaking time in my cover bands. Pride and Joy is 120 on the dot. And it's easy for me to count in because I've heard that song so many times. What about Billie Jean by Michael Jackson? Everyone knows that bass line. So 117, that's close enough to 120 that you can use Billie Jean if you want. We can obviously do this with other tempos as well. So I made a list of songs to associate to each tempo that I feel like I know well enough that I can hum in my head uh, to give me the tempo for the song. So I'm gonna try and snap each tempo and kind of hum the melody in my head as I'm snapping. And I'll edit, I'll layer the music over this and we'll just see how close I am. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but we'll see. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Sunday morning rain is falling. Feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight. Just killed a man. 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm on or off. Like I said, I don't know how close I'm gonna be until I edit this, but before associating these songs to those tempos, if someone were to tell me to play 120 beats per minute with my hands, I would have no idea. So this is an awesome way for us to individually kind of make our own song tempo list that we can associate those tempos to. Another thing I've noticed when doing gigs with or without a click is this thing I call the tempo jump effect. So you've just finished playing a song that was really fast and now you have to start the next song that's really slow. And you start playing that slow song and it feels like you're playing really slow. So you kind of want to speed up a bit. Same thing the other way around. If you just finished playing a really slow song and the next song is really fast, for some reason, the song feels really, really fast. So obviously if you have the click, that's going to keep you on track. And that's how I've noticed this during the gigs is because the click was going and, and we finished a fast song, we're playing a slow song and I'm like, this click is like really slow today, isn't it? I've experienced this before. I'm not sure if anyone else has, but this is just something that I've noticed. So maybe this way of associating a song to a tempo can help us kind of hit that reset button and avoid the tempo jump effect. Okay, so now to actually work on maintaining that tempo. So I'm gonna use gap clicks to practice this. Now for those who don't know, a gap click is basically a click that cuts in and out uh, for a certain period of time. If you type gap click metronome on YouTube, you'll find tons of videos at different tempos with different gap lengths. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. Okay, so I'm gonna try 100 beats per minute with a one bar gap click. It's going to give me one bar and then there's going to be a gap, so I'll start during the gap. Alright, so that was a little a little wobbly. But that's the point of this, that's why we're working on this. So this is the first time I'm actually doing this. I'm showing you guys the first time I'm doing this. So this is the beginning of my journey of mastering time and space. Let's try a bigger gap. I'm gonna go 80 beats per minute, a four bar gap click. Four bars on, four bars off. Let's do it. Rushing. So I'm speeding up, and I think that's because 80 beats per minute is a fairly slow tempo. Alright, one more time, because I got the tempo in my head. or were you dragging? A little bit rushed. So you do know the difference! Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna try something a little faster at 90 beats per minute. Uh, this is the tempo of Sunday Morning by Maroon 5. So I'm gonna hum it in my head. I'm gonna play the same groove and see if that helps me with the gap click. So there's gonna be four bars of gap click. Way off. You are a worthless, friendless, f***ing lip little piece of shit whose mommy left daddy. Way too slow. I think it's because I have that 80 beats per minute in my mind right now. 
We're going to get there. So that's basically it. We can use songs to associate to a certain tempo, and we can use gap clicks to help kind of gauge whether or not we speed up or slow down when left without the click. When we start learning drums, it's difficult to play with the click. But then, when you become more advanced, it's difficult to play without the freaking click. The click is like a terrible drug. When you're a kid, you want nothing to do with it. But after you've gotten that taste, you don't want to live without it. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like the idea of doing these videos, basically sharing what I'm practicing. It seems a lot more organic and honest because it is. And it gives me a reason to practice cool things too. So thank you guys for inspiring me to practice. Hopefully these videos inspire you. And also if you guys have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see me do on things to practice or exercises that I can maybe create for you guys on things that you're working on, please put it in the comments below and that helps me out. That helps me decide what to make next. That's it guys. Thanks for watching What to Practice. Thanks for checking out BrandonScottDrums.com where you can get a 30 minute lesson for free. And thanks for being here. Peace.